Hi friend, I hope you're doing super super well. So today's story is about a man named Daniel. So Daniel was a man, like a young man, who was born in a country that was taken captive pretty quickly after he was born. So he was very young when he was taken captive. He was a young boy who came more out of like an upper class family. So when he came to that new country where he was taken captive to, he was put in a role where he was trained to be under the king. So he learned like government positions and all those kind of things. So he was trained well because he came from a richer family, from a better background in his old country. Okay? And his old country had a very different belief than the new country as well. The new country was pretty evil and was doing not good things, like very bad things, and the king as well. But Daniel came from a country where like they worship God, like they were excited about God and they love God. And so he came to this new land. And in this new land as well, it wasn't seen well if you worship like gods from your own land, from back home. You're supposed to worship their gods. But he chose, he didn't care. Like he kept doing the right thing. It started off with like, you know, like not eating the food of the land and asking like for a very different diet and he got it. And then he looked better because God worked through that diet. It's amazing. And then later on, there's a situation where his face was tested again really hard, where he came up there and um, people were against him because his position was higher and higher and the king was like, really in favor of him and really loved him and was like this man serves like with all his heart so he didn't just serve like in captivity like a little bit but he gave his best and the king saw that so he promoted him over and over but now he's in a situation all those other people are jealous of him and they all want to go after him you know how can we get rid of him and then they find out like ah he's praying to his god so why don't we let the king like decree a law so everybody who doesn't pray to the king will be thrown in the lion den. And that's the famous story of Daniel in the lion den. But he chooses in that moment to worship God anyway and to pray. No matter what the circumstance was, no matter what would happen to him, he chooses it. And then what happens? God saves his life. And the king comes to know God. He thanks God for Daniel saving. It's beautiful. So when we actually live our faith, like we see in Daniel's life, and we give the best no matter the circumstance, we're always like representing God there. It's going to change something. Will it be easy? Probably not. Is it challenging? Yes. Look at Daniel. It was very challenging, very hard. But he chose it anyway. He made the choice, I'm going to give the best that I have. I'm going to do the best I can. I'm not going to do halfway work just because I'm captive. I'm going to give the best. And he served. And then because of that, like, also, he lived his faith. He prayed. He never stopped worshiping his God. Never. Even when his life depended on it. He didn't care. He kept praying. And I want us to be encouraged by that. You know, whatever hard situation you might go into in life, it might be like a challenging work situation, or it might be something else. Keep your integrity. Do the right thing. No matter what. Give your best. And don't step away from your faith either. Don't hide it. Don't be afraid of your faith. Share it, like be open, pray, like let people see your faith in action. No matter what they say, no matter what they do. Daniel wasn't afraid, like Daniel didn't step away from God. He knew like that's where I'm leaning on and God loves me and I'm gonna step with him. And he did and it changed everything in his life. So I want to encourage you in that. Let us live that way. Let us live like a Daniel. So God, I just want to pray that you help each one of us to have a heart like Daniel. A heart where we like really 
step into our calling, if it's hard and challenging, if we are not freely there, maybe in the workplace, whatever, whatever it is, that you help us to serve with integrity, give our best, and also not deny you in the process. Like really stay true to our faith of who you are. So God, I just wanna pray, help us in that. Wherever it might be hard and challenging for us, help us to really not give up and help us to move forward in that. Thank you, Jesus. In your name we pray, amen. Have a blessed week and remember, don't be shy of your faith, stay in integrity and keep serving the best to your ability. Bye.